welcome back to my channel, you guys, and welcome back to another update of the Every Bit Counts Challenge. This is week three. I made it through another week, and there were some days I wasn't sure I was going to make it, but I did. Um, this week, I have a variety of things. Ooh, water. My counter's wet. Um, so last Sunday, I started with grape jelly. I have one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight half pint jars of grape jelly. These are from our Concord grapes out in our, like our fruit orchard part of the property. And this is the second year I've had enough to make jelly, but this year I think I might have enough to make two batches. There are still some more out there. I'm not sure if I'm just gonna make juice or jelly or something else. Um, so I have eight half pints of those. And then the next day I made pesto with basil from the garden. And I don't have that here cause it's in the freezer but I did a big hack back on a lot of my basil and um, I made enough pesto to put like one and a half to two cups. I don't really measure an exact amount when I use pesto, um, but I put it in sandwich bags and then I put those sandwich bags in one big um, freezer gallon bag. And so I have um, four of those sandwich bags portioned out in my deep freezer right now. Next day, I did something new to me. I did three quarts of these uh, potato green bean layer things. I have three quarts here. Um, I was not going to do any more green beans because I did some in July and I had enough. We've just been eating them fresh, but, and I also have freeze dried them and they make a good snack. But um, I ran into a friend at Walmart and she was talking about having watched somebody else do um, layered potatoes and green beans. I think she was watching Homestead Heart because she mentioned Cajun seasoning, which she has used. So I, I was like, oh, that sounds fun. So I went searching. I'm not a huge fan of Cajun seasoning. Um, so when I searched, I came across someone else who used um, onion soup mix. That's why it's all dark in theirs. And so I decided that sounded like a good thing to try. I only made three quarts. Um, partly that's what green bean wise, that's what I had at the time. But also I didn't, having not tried it, I didn't want to make like a ton of it, but this could make for some easy meals in the winter. Um, so I have th those and then I had the next day, this was a two day project. I had, um, oatmeal in the freeze dryer and I have three quarts here of the oatmeal that I split up after it was dried and came out. I split up into three different bowls and I added some freeze dried fruit I already had done previously. So I have one here that I labeled strawberries and cream. So this is freeze dried steel cut oats that I just put freeze dried strawberries into. And when I reconstitute it, I will use warm cream and have strawberries and cream oatmeal. And then this one is peaches and cream from freeze dried peaches, same idea. And then this one is cherry almond. Um, I will add some almond extract to it. I like that flavor combination. Uh, when I reconstitute this, just so you know, if you have not freeze dried oatmeal and you want to, the, um, the directions I have found online for reconstituting oatmeal makes it they, all the ones I've encountered make it really soupy, and I'm more of a fan of a thick, almost dry oatmeal. So um, just your warning on that, you might want to start with less liquid, and you can always add more, but it's harder to take it out. But those will be like instant oatmeal, um, self-serve breakfast for my kids over the winter. After the oatmeal, let's see, I did sweet relish, and this is one of those things that... I ran out of the right kind of vinegar, had to go to the store in the middle, I had to go get my kids in the middle, we had birthday dinner in the middle like there was things that, that I started this early in the morning and ended it at like eight o'clock at night so sweet relish though I have one two three four five six seven half pint jars of the sweet relish I think I have enough my cucumbers are not doing that well this year um, but I think I have enough out there to do one more batch we'll see if I get around to it because last year I think I did about somewhere between 12 to 18 jars and we're on our last jar. So that a year's worth is gonna be at least 12 for us. Um, so sweet relish. And then I did jars of tomatoes and green chilies. I have one, two, three, four, five, six jars of tomatoes and green chilies. I have been pleasantly surprised with all of the storm damage and the rotting and stuff um, and how much I've had to get rid of tomatoes. I'm very pleasantly surprised with how many tomatoes I'm still getting. Um, and so that has been awesome. I'm making quick work of them. I have a tub of them sitting outside my back door right now. That will hopefully be salsa and more spaghetti sauce. We'll see. Um, the green chilies are just Anaheim's from my garden. That's all that's in here. So these were pressure canned. 
And if I didn't already say there's six of the pint jars of those. And then these just came out of the freeze dryer and I just vacuum sealed them in a jar. These are bell peppers. I've got red and green ones here. Bell peppers are just starting to like, they've been hanging on that vine forever and now they're starting to like all ripen and finish all at once. And this is not a whole freeze dryer full because they don't really shrink that much in the freeze dryer, but it was like, I think two and a half um, trays and um, these will be not only easy to add to things like soup, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to just reconstitute these and add them into things like egg scrambles and stuff like that too. So um, have not tried the freeze dried peppers yet. I used to dehydrate them, but then I feel like I can only use that in chilies and soups and things that have liquid and heat and need to be done like that. These I think will still have a little bit of crunch when they're reconstituted. We'll find out. So that is what I have this week. We've got the grape jelly, the pesto, the green bean potatoes, the oatmeal, the sweet relish, tomatoes, green chilies, and the freeze dried bell peppers. Seven days, seven items. Yay for perseverance, it paid off. Um, if you are interested in seeing more videos with this challenge, I'll link my own below, but I will also link Three Rivers Homestead who started the challenge. And I believe if you use the hashtag every bit counts or every bit counts challenge that you will be able to find like in the search bar at YouTube. If you just type in that hashtag, you'll be able to find a lot of different people that are doing the challenge this year. Let me know in the comments what you are preserving, how much you think you'll still have um, to get done. I, I feel like I, I probably still have a full another month of growth out there, even though part of me wants fall to come now, but I think I still have a lot of work to do next week at the very least next week and try to get a lot more done. We'll find out. I'll see you guys in the next one.